Hi, and welcome to another episode of Learn It With Lion with PC Lion 324. On this episode, I'm going to show you how to change this desktop into this desktop. Let's get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to change your background. To do that, you're simply going to right click on the desktop, select Change Desktop Background. That's going to open up the Appearance Preferences window. Here you can select whichever desktop that you want. Um, it comes with a good bit of selections, but uh, I don't like any of them. So what I did was I went to the World Wide Web, did a search for 3D wallpapers, clicked on Images link, and here I filtered them by the size of my desktop clicking exactly. I typed in 1680 by 1050 since that's the size of my monitor. Hit search and I came up with a list of stuff and I went through, went through, selected, select, went through, went through, found the one that I wanted. Clicked on it and saved it to a folder. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add that wallpaper to the selection box by clicking the add button navigating to where I saved the wallpaper and hitting open and that brought up the desktop background and I changed it now whenever I want to change my desktop background I don't have to go hunting for it through my file system I can simply click it in the selection box the next thing I did to change my theme I selected the themes tab and I chose dust because I like the controls for dust and I like the overall look for dust I really like the fact that it gives this glassy look to all the, the tabs um, inside of your applications but what I didn't like was the selection color so to change that I hit the customize button and I went to colors the colors tab here I changed the background for the windows and what I did was I selected the eyedropper tool which will allow you to select any color on the current desktop or window that's open anywhere on your computer screen if it's on your screen you can select that color and I simply went over and pulled one of the colors from off of my wallpaper and then I hit OK and then after that I went and I darkened up the text for my uh, wallpaper for my theme I think this time I'm actually going to turn it white though so that'll allow me to see it better no I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna make it black I liked it better black and after I changed that I left the input boxes the same I ch changed the selected items and the first time I had it pure red I think I'm gonna go ahead and go with pure red again so hit OK on that I'm gonna leave the text form the same and I changed the tool tips also by using the eyedropper tool and selecting this color hitting OK and I changed the text for the tool tips to red next I went to the pointers tab and selected the red glass pointer and that's pretty much how I changed the theme for my desktop after that I changed my panels first thing I did was I got rid of the bottom panel since I don't even use it make sure you read this prompt because if you delete this panel and you want to put it back the applets won't be there you're gonna to have to add those I'll show you how to do that later though so I deleted that panel then oh I forgot to tell you how I did it to delete a panel all you do is right click on the panel select delete panel delete this panel this is grayed out after you delete one panel you won't be able to delete the second panel you always have to have one panel open that way 
if you want to add the panel back you can do so by right clicking on the one panel that's there and selecting add panel so after I deleted the panel I started deleting items off of the panel that was on the top first thing I got rid of was my clock because I'm going to use a different clock later on second thing I got rid of was this help because I found this help to be absolutely worth nothing I mean it works fairly well but it never worked for me I find most of my help through the Ubuntu forms and then I got rid of evolution launcher Firefox launcher and then I got rid of my main menu the next thing I did was I started adding stuff um, no, I, no I didn't I didn't add stuff I moved this by right clicking on the applet and selecting um, check unchecking lock to panel and right clicking on it again and selecting move I moved it all the way over to this end and then I locked it back to the panel by right clicking on it and selecting lock to panel I did the same thing for this little applet lock that back down then I started adding stuff to my panel um, really the only thing I added was the force quit applet which closes uh, applications that are crashing so I added that and I right clicked on that applet and moved it to the corner and locked it down and then I moved my notification area all the way over in the corner next to the force quit and locked that down then after that I changed this panel to have a transparent look to it by changing properties I right clicked on the panel went to properties selected the background tab and chose background image navigated to where I had an image that I created using GIMP the image is what's the image it's like something like 24 pixels tall and I don't know maybe five ten pixels wide um, the reason it's only it's so small is because the panel itself is only 24 pixels tall and it automatically repeats the image to fill the panel so I didn't have to make it that big um, I just opened up GIMP and created a, a image that was 24 pixels high by like 5 or 10 pixels wide and I used a gradient from top to bottom uh, going from white to transparent um, halfway through and then I used one going from black to transparent halfway through from bottom to top and that's how I got that glassy looking panel and the last thing I did was I used my menu pop-up by going to my keyboard and hitting alt and F1 to pop up my menu since I don't have one that I can use from off the panel and I went to accessories grab this terminal launcher I clicked it and drug it up to my panel and placed it in my panel and locked that down and that's how I got my desktop to look the way it does um, I'm going to come back and do another one to show you explain to you possibly show you how I got Compies working which gives you the eye candy like wobbly windows 3D desktop cubes and all that funky stuff and I will show you how to install on manager and that'll do it for the customization of my desktop um, I'm gonna cut the video now and I'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching